Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of Frank Herbert's epic science fiction novel Dune has garnered immense praise and recognition for its adept portrayal of Herbert's world and vision, effectively immersing audiences in the intricate universe he so carefully constructed. The initial wave of marketing for Dune Part 2 sparked some interesting speculation and fan theories about possible added plot points and the potential expansion of roles for various characters. In this video, I'd like to detail and examine the evidence supporting a theory revolving around the character of Princess Irulan, the daughter of Emperor Shaddam Karino IV, and a potential secret mission she could undertake during the events of Dune. The first Dune Part 2 trailer provided several key pieces of evidence that strongly hint at Princess Irulan's quest to investigate the rise of Muad'Dib and the possible survival of Paul Atreides. In the trailer, Irulan can be heard saying, In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets, but the darkest of them all may remain. The end of House Atreides. What if Paul Atreides is still alive? This dialogue indicated Irulan's keen interest in the fate of the Atreides and Paul's potential survival, which could provide the impetus for her journey to Arrakis. There's a Bene Gesserit saying, do not count a human dead until you've seen his body, and even then you can make a mistake. As a member of the Bene Gesserit, Irulan is likely well aware of this saying, reinforcing her skepticism of the common belief in Paul's death. The reason for Irulan's concern may stem from the potential threat the surviving Atreides posed to her father's rule. As the Emperor's daughter, she is mindful of the delicate balance of power within the universe and would want to ensure her father's continued reign. This knowledge makes her acutely aware of how the reappearance of a presumed dead Paul Atreides or the continued existence and return of House Atreides could disrupt this delicate balance and endanger her father's hegemony. Consequently, she would be driven to take proactive measures to ascertain the truth and safeguard her father's enduring rule, thereby preserving the stability of the Empire and her family's legacy. Another critical piece of evidence for this theory is Princess Irulan's appearance in what looks like a metal quaff. In the universe of Dune, personal shields are commonplace, but they cannot be used in the deep desert of Arrakis. The vibrations generated by these shields have proven to greatly disturb the sandworms, driving them into a frenzy and provoking their attack. Due to her status as a high-profile figure, Irulan would likely need some other form of physical protection, which is why she would be seen wearing metal armor in place of the standard personal Holtzman shield. To me, this single shot serves as a strong piece of visual evidence to suggest that at some point in the film, she ventures into the desert on Arrakis, further supporting the theory of her secret mission. It's also possible that Irulan could be wearing this armor as an additional precaution while in the Arakeen Palace. However, the city of Arakeen sits behind a structure known as the Shield Wall, which protects it from sandworm attacks. Therefore, personal shields can be and are used within the capital city. Additionally, the trailer shows a shot of the Fremen Shishakli immediately before Princess Irulan appears in her armor. Both shots appear to indicate that these two individuals are in the same place. Shashakli is beaten and bound in what looks like an interrogation scene. She is surrounded by non-Fremen forces with a robed or cloaked figure approaching. These enemy forces appear to be wearing black Harkonnen livery, but they very well could be Sardaukar that have assumed the guise of Harkonnen agents in order to conceal the involvement of the Imperial House in Irulan's mission. The way this short sequence is edited in the trailer seems to imply that Irulan travels to the deep desert of Arrakis and is present for the interrogation of Shashakli as part of her investigation into Moadib and a possible connection to Paul Atreides. Given Irulan's training as a Bene Gesserit, it stands to reason that she would want to be present when the interrogation of Shashakli occurs, as a few of the Sisterhood's members are sought after for their ability to sense truth and deception. Although the original text does not explicitly mention that Irulan possesses this skill, it is plausible that she may have been influenced by Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohayim's truth-sensing abilities, as Mohayim serves as the truth-sayer for her father. 
While the theory of Irulan's secret mission is nowhere to be found in the source material, I feel that it aligns with her character and motivations. Irulan's writings and journal entries play a significant role in narrating the story of Dune. This emphasizes her proclivity for gathering information and recording events. She is said to be a strong, ambitious individual who maintains her sense of personal identity throughout the series. After the events of Dune, she even plots against House Atreides, further demonstrating her determination and resourcefulness in attempting to secure power for House Carino. Her involvement in the interrogation of Shashakli would also align with her established willingness to engage in morally questionable conduct in order to fulfill her agenda. Additionally, as the Emperor's daughter, it makes sense that Irulan would have access to vast resources and information, which she could use in her quest to uncover the truth about Paul's disappearance and the rise of Moadib. The ability to piece together the mystery and carry out this investigation fits well within the spirit of her character and her role as a historian and chronicler. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Denis Villeneuve made some telling remarks that I feel add further validity to this theory. He described Irulan as a political chess player, saying her stake could not be higher because she's afraid that her father could lose the throne, could lose everything. This insight from Villeneuve highlights the immense pressure and responsibility Irulan feels to protect her father's rule and her family's legacy. Driven by this determination, she naturally should be willing to go to great lengths to uncover the truth behind Paul Atreides' disappearance and the rise of Moadib, fully understanding the potential implications for the balance of power within the universe. The addition of such non-canon subplots is par for the course when considering the liberties that were taken in the first film, specifically the Reverend Mother's journey to Getty Prime and her conversation with the Baron in an attempt to protect Jessica and Paul from the Harkonnen assault. In the same way, this theory for Princess Irulan's investigation on Arrakis adds depth to her character and enhances the intricacy of the narrative, while being careful not to overtly betray the source material while staying true to the core elements of the original story. By exploring her character and motivations, it could allow the viewer to more fully understand the political landscape and the various forces at play in the story. This original subplot could provide a great opportunity to showcase Irulan's characteristically proactive mindset and cunning tendencies that are not fully revealed until Dune Messiah, the second book in Frank Herbert's epic saga. But I'm curious to know what you think of this theory for Princess Irulan in Dune Part 2. Would you be interested in seeing an expansion of her story as she works to gather intel behind the scenes? Are there any theories that you have regarding Irulan's role in the latter half of this adaptation of Dune? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.